So yeah, uh, the rain kind of bums out our plans. I don't know how well you guys can hear me now, so I'm just going to try and scream. Um, we can't finish cleaning the engine bay because we have to take it outside and pressure wash it. Now I understand I could just push it outside, but I wanted to kind of direct the streams in certain places and things like that. Also, I have a mattress on top of the roof so it doesn't damage the bonnet and oh, I just broke the clip. Uh, so uh, we can't finish that up, but... What can we do? Still waiting on Tyron to send me the dimensions because we need to make new engine mounts. So I got the new polyurethane. Uh, I should probably just cut this now and go to somewhere where it's a little bit more quiet. Okay, back to what we were busy saying before we were rudely interrupted. So um, we're going to be making our own engine mount. We're waiting on Ty Tyron to send us the dimensions of his um, and we're going to be making them out of polyurethane right uh, we're gonna be getting the end caps made by getting them laser cut um, hope this isn't too loud I don't know how this is gonna sound but we'll hear um, so we're gonna get the end caps laser cut we're gonna make the actual mounts out of polyurethane um, and then we're gonna chuck the engine in the engines done the only one thing I have to do still is this I don't know if it's an oil temp sensor or a knock sensor it's a sensor like that not really affect me on what it is at this point in time all I know is one of the cables broke off in the actual clip itself and I need to go and get that fixed before I can actually get that installed. So literally that's the last part that's missing from this thing before it's ready to go back in there. All we have to do next is pull this off here, mate up the clutch, mate up the flywheel, uh, just mate up like basically everything, um, and then get that chucked back in the engine. Um, so yeah. Uh, like I said, the mounts are going to be made by us. I could just go and buy new mounts, and I could just buy polyurethane mounts. It might even be cheaper. But this, like most things on this channel, we're going to try and build everything ourselves, right? Um, within reason, as far as we can, we want to build as much things ourselves. Um, that's not going to make things cheaper, and it's not going to make things faster. But I like doing things, and maybe you guys are going to like watching me do things. It's, it's, it's just how it's going to go in this channel. We're going to see how that goes. I think it's going to be fun, but yeah, before this battery dies, I'm just going to say, sweetos, burritos! We're printing this with PLA. PLA has a low melting temperature and polyurethane heats up when it 
sense, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna print it with super thick sidewalls, then a support in the middle, then another thick sidewall, and then we're gonna have the pin or the hole for the pin in the middle. Um, so let's try and get that. And yeah, then we're gonna basically lubricate the inside with probably bearing grease so that the polyurethane doesn't stick to the mold itself because otherwise it's just gonna be cast into the plastic. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my screen and then we're gonna get down to doing that. PLA, the stuff that we use to print this, um, can deform at 60 degrees and the 60 degree, well yeah, it can be prone to deformation at 60 degrees and 60 degrees is the temperature at which polyurethane sets at, right? It's an exothermic reaction which means it releases heat um, during the curing process. So the plan is we are going to hot glue these into this container. Uh, well, we first need to find center, hot glue them into the container. Um, we're then going to fill the area with sand and compress it down so that it kind of forms a somewhere where the heat can escape into, as well as keeping the mold in shape, right? Um, hopefully this works. I don't know if it will, but we're just going to hope that it doesn't deform inwards. Um, Hopefully it won't, hopefully that the, the heat can be dissipated into the sand. Um, yeah, this is just an attempt. Uh, to fit the motor back in today, we're actually gonna use the stock mount, even though the one is broken. Uh, that's just because I have to get the engine, the engine hoist back to Thailand tomorrow. So this has to go in. We aren't gonna get the steel caps made in time. We're not gonna be able to get the, the bolts in time because we have to go to the place and the place is closed. Uh, and the steel factory that's laser cutting our steel for us is also closed. So we're gonna try and get these set uh, because they're gonna take quite a while to set themselves. We're gonna have to put them in the oven for a little bit also. So let's get these made and then we'll start with the next process on something else that I'm also printing for this whole shebang. So let me quickly show you what's on the printer currently. So that, we can get the gearbox and the engine mated up. Okay, so currently over here we have the clutch alignment tool busy being printed so that we can mate our gearbox and our clutch and engine and everything up. So once that's done, we'll be able to mate the two surfaces together. And while that's printing, we're gonna start with the actual engine mounts. Hey! 
Okay, so as you guys have seen, the molds are, well, not the molds, the actual engine mounts are busy curing now. Um, this is going to take like four hours. I'm worried that they're going to deform, but who knows what's going to happen. We try, we live and we learn, right? Um, you saw me going with a blowtorch, I don't know if you guys saw that in the time lapse, but that was just trying to get rid of the bubbles. Um, if I touch the bottom of this thing, it's super hot. Like, uh, they, weren't, they weren't joking about the fact that this thing heats up. Um, in that other time lapse I showed you guys, basically we did the calculation to check what the volume of each of these would be. Um, I then went and did the ratio of 100 to 26, as you saw I had to use YouTube as uh, my teacher. Uh, so we did the ratio of 100 to 26. Um, mixing ratio of part A to part B. Um, this is a PUR60, so it's a 60A on the shore hardness scale. Uh, shore hardness scale. Um, so these, uh, the, the the hardness is actually meant for uh, engine mounts. So let's see how it is. It, apparently, it's just slightly harder than um, stock rubbers. Um, but we'll we'll see when they set. Um, yeah. Let's go see how the alignment tool is busy printing and how far we are. Okay, so our engine mounts, oh yeah, look at them. No, no, they're just getting full of sand. But uh, those are mostly cured, right? So uh, we're gonna give it another hour, we're gonna pull those out. Uh, they then have to go into an oven for like 16 hours. I, uh, we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do about that because I'm not gonna put thing into an oven for 16 hours. Um, so. Like I said, we don't have the full pieces to complete these engine mounts right now, but we do need to get this back in the engine because Thailand needs the engine hoist back, right? So, um, as nervous as I am to try and get this stuff done, we just gotta kind of do it, right? Um, I kind of been procrastinating because, yeah, people get nervous, bro. <laughs> but, so we're gonna pull this off of this. We're gonna have, uh, so we're gonna hoist it up, we're gonna take it off the stand, we're gonna drop it down, we're gonna have to take the back plate off. Uh, once we have the back plate off, we have to get the flywheel and clutch and everything mounted. So I went through and printed the S13 um, clutch alignment tool, which is pretty cool that this is just available online and I can just align my clutch. Never done this before, we'll figure out what we're supposed to do, but yeah. Um, Let's start off with that. I just really need to get this motor also out of the way because this whole garage is just getting so cluttered right now because we have people moving, we have, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that's happening right now and it's getting very busy and difficult to work everywhere. Um, so let me stop talking and let's just actually do this before the storm comes in because we might have to pull the car out to get the engine in because the heights are a problem getting it out. So yeah, let's go.
You know, we never thought we would get here, but we are here. The motor is in. It's on the existing engine mounts, as I said. Uh, we are going to get this motor running in the next episode on the existing mounts. Um, we just want to test and make sure that everything is functioning as it should, right, before we go and finish up everything else. I just want to give a huge, huge thank you uh, to Thailand once again for always being there and letting me use all of his equipment, torque wrenches, valve stem seal lifters, um, valve stem seal in installers, literally everything, the engine hoist, everything. Huge, huge, huge thank you, Thailand. Uh, Tyron, also, um, I would just like to also thank you for being there as my second parts guy. Common for just being there, you know, just told me of that. And then my dad, as you guys saw, he helped me get this thing in here. I thought I was gonna be able to do it myself. Um, it still took my dad and I probably like two hours to do this. So <laughs> I'd still be sitting here till like, who knows, 12 o'clock tonight. Um, but as you guys can see, we're there, right? It's just the last final touches that we need to put on. And then we're golden. So in the next episode, we're gonna get this running or at least try to get it running. <laughs> and to everyone, once again, we've hit the 100 mark, man. We've hit the 100 subscribers, which is, which is awesome. So, you know, just more growth from here. So thank you to each and every one of you guys watching. Um, yeah, hit the like button, you know, 2021 style, smash that like button. You know, if you want to go and even like invade the capital of the subscribe button. <laughs> Sorry, that joke might have been in poor taste. But yeah, um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and as always, love you, miss you, bye!